Charlie Cannons, Charlie Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. Nice of you to join in halfway through. Man. <laughs> Sorry, you, I was like reaching for my cup of coffee and you guys were like, you guys want to do it? And I was like, hang on! <laughs> anyway, welcome uh, everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carling Gaming Super Smash Brothers Spring Break Bowser 3B4 Challenge. We are still hoping for Spring Break Bowser to return. I understand many people are... Um, this is like their last day before actual spring break. Oh, oh I think it is. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, very exciting. It's wonder... actually time for spring break. Man, also. remember spring break? Oh, man, spring I break do. was the best. I always had to work. Yeah. Plus, we grew up with our, our mom was a CPA, so oh, spring so break meant like... we never did anything yeah, fun because it's tax season. Tax yeah. season. So until April 15th, nothing but being at the babysitters. There you go. Derek, if you want to go ahead and Oh, I'm sorry. I thought, there it is. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yep. I did not realize that we were waiting on me. We were, but <laughs> now we're not. Hey, here we go. We Ike! Hey, I got, hey. I got Hurricane Ike! Hurricane oh, yeah. Ike! Oh, boy. Here it is. I'm not, I'm not as skilled as We them. have a chance. Oh boy. Oh, and already almost fallen off the level. Oh, I'm making my way out of this. All right, so today we actually have uh, two questions that I will call somewhat related to each other. The first is from Karen, who says, um, Dear SCB, what do you do when your sibling is dating someone you don't approve of? And the second one is from Clever, where he says, I was wondering what the best way is to tell if a girl is quote, good enough for you. Oh, it's like, if you're uh, doubting it then. Oh boy, that feels I, like a I weird question. I seriously think I like this I don't girl. think I like that question. I seriously uh, think what do you I mean, like is this she girl, good but I don't know you. if she's trouble. Should I get involved or should I wait it out and see? I asked my parents for advice and they said that they thought that she wasn't good enough for me. Oh. Well, every parent uh, thinks every, that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm, right? So uh, basically it's two sides of the same conversation. The uh, oh boy. Oh no, back. who's getting hit? Did anyone get hit? Was it me? No, Am I dead? I'm dead. Am I dead? Yeah, Derek might have gotten hit. You did. So how do you how do you tell your sibling or, or child or, or anything like that if you think that the person that they're dating isn't great for them? And on the flip side, how do you tell whether or not the person you, you know, want to date is You know, the question is, wasn't, is are are they great for you? It's, are they good enough for you? I just thought, it seems like really weird phrasing. Uh, it, it does seem like slightly weird phrasing. Yeah. Um, I feel like I need a little more about the, the, like, the situation. Right, right, right. I mean, like, I, like, like, what has led know... you to believe that somebody might not be good for right, you? Right, like, I, I think I get the question, like, maybe the way they're dressing is not in keeping with the way your parents imagined you would yeah, yeah, yeah. date like that, people or something. That's, that's Does she have thing. a face tattoo? I don't know. <laughs> Let's assume that's the situation here a, and go a, from there. A face tattoo. How so, do you tell someone that, that you don't think they should date someone with a face tattoo? <laughs> Oh man, I don't know. It depends on the face tattoo. Like a teardrop. Doesn't a teardrop mean like you, that, like, <laughs> like you killed someone? Yes, that's Is that yeah, supposed that's, to? That's, something that's like supposed that. to. I don't. Yeah, I hope that's not always. Because I, I, the people at the uh, local convenience store that I go to sometimes do have them, uh, <laughs> and I always think about that exact thing, and I'm like, I'm I'm overthinking it. I'm sure. Surely Whoa, I'm what? overthinking it. Surely that's happen. just a rumor about movies. It's not a real right. thing. These guys right, are right. murderers. <laughs> Oh, yeah, like they're that's, just, they're that's sad. something that only happens just, in the movies. Yeah. Sad. Yeah, they're just sad. Right, you know, it's, it's, it's to bad demonstrate happened. that they've been crying for, for some time. No, I don't know. Uh, like, or I guess my real question is, is there such Boom! a thing we as oh, owned this? We did. That was so we did. We did. Oh, we all was had two only, lives left. Man, I know that Hurricane Ike was destroying people. Yeah, <laughs> Ike is very good he at is, I'll bet that Ryu got at least one. <laughs> Let's see. I got, I got two. six. Man, it was, it was closer <laughs> than uh, closer than I imagined. Uh, that's not. I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty good numbers across the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. Wow. Oh boy. Seven hundred and fourteen. Good. So much damage. damage. That's good. So much damage. I don't think we've had that high number in a while. Let's go down. Well, here before we go checks. on to round two, we need to take a quick pause for our Patreon sponsor of the day today. It's us. It's us? Today, we are the sponsor of the day. And do you want to know what we want to say? What do we want to say? We want to say happy birthday to Tom Not John. Tom Not John, Tom John? From our top tier Patreon reward level. He plays Smash in Rocket League with us yeah, we, every uh, month. Yeah, we played yesterday with Tom and uh, when Chloe. Yeah, if you want to, actually, anyone who wants to join uh, me and Ben and Tom and Chloe in a, a round of Smash, go feel free to check out our Patreon page. But yeah. in the meantime, also just say happy birthday to Tom. Not John. Not John. Yeah. 
Or Tim. Or, or Tim. Tim. <laughs> Dude, you guys just like crushed that so Man, fast. Man, I think that's because we had a good character. The difference when you have cool. Ike, or like one of the, yeah. like what I, I don't necessarily think Ike is necessarily, like Ike, Bowser, and Ganondorf are like necessarily like some of the best characters in the game. I just think they're really good at this particular yeah. kind of challenge. Yes, yes I think like that's, yeah. wide range, big hits. Yep. Because they're they're not that fast, but very frequently you can go and find somebody else battling somebody and yeah. then just like yeah, just go stand up behind them. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's that's sort of the the big thing with those guys and I, that sword is I, so big. It's so big. When I first started playing with Ike, I think if you guys remember, I was getting like one KO per round pretty consistently every game. And then I played with Ike and it was like, I had like yeah. seven all of a sudden. I well, was like, I feel like I'm cheating. <laughs> like, whoops. Oh wait, we're supposed to put this to seven. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Three sevens and a six. Three sevens, right. lucky yes. sevens, y'all. Here we go, boom, boom. So talking a little bit more about this question, if you oh, I'm proud of playing. Right. think that oh, it, interesting. who in your like life, if they were dating them. someone that you thought wasn't great, would you be comfortable telling? Or on the flip side, if you were worried about the person you're dating or wanting to date, who would you ask and trust their thoughts on? Um, I, I mean, it really is tricky because like, it's always hard if you are not prepared to not actually date somebody to ask someone you love like opinion of them right. because uh, there is always that sort of like, well, if you decide to continue to date them despite the advice of your friends, then you are going to always know that your friends do not like the person you are dating. Ooh. And that's like a- What? Oh no. That's okay. a tricky thing. Um, and I remember going through a couple of breakups um, and like mom would always sort of have this thing where she was like, I'm afraid to say anything in case you guys get back together. You know what? Uh, you know what yeah. Even, even <laughs> that my, my is saying mom, something though, right? At, right? Every single time that I would break up with somebody, my mom would always have something negative to say about the person that I was dating previously. And I'm like, why didn't you say anything then? No, right, I could right, have right. cried like, out loud. You could have saved me so much stress. I know. Okay, Jay, I think you could agree that in high school, I dated one person in particular who was a problem. Um, uh, yeah. At what point in time, because I don't know that you ever specifically told me like, oh, I just like, hey, her. don't don't date this person. Well, I, I probably they're... should have been asking my local YouTube channel what to do. <laughs> uh, right? probably, I, I mean, I didn't really know. Like, to me, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I guess in my mind, I was, I thought you were, you know, capable of making good judgments. Well, I was I, wrong, but you know. Okay. No. <laughs> in fairness, in fairness, I think that now I am capable of making good good decisions yeah. because of that situation. Right. That's yeah. the thing. High school relationships are great for learning what's not good. So That's, here's yeah. what I would probably do here: is look for another like it's uh, try and approach it like tangentially, which is to say, if your friend it, like find something specific about this girl that is obviously wrong that your friend is like love you know like a little uh. What's the word for being like blinded by love? I don't know. Uh, blinded by love. Blinded by love. Who's, who's just like refusing to see it because he's uh, rose-colored glasses. Yes. Because yeah. he's oh, just so into this girl. And try and identify one of those things and see if you can spot it somewhere else in the world, or wait for them to bring up anything they don't like. Like wait for him to notice. Because the thing is, if people aren't great, it will eventually become obvious. Like, eventually it will fade. And as soon as they say anything, you'd be like, dude, I don't want to say anything, but that happens all the time. Or, you know, if you can point it out in someone else, then maybe they'll recognize it yeah. in their own life as well. Like, don't specifically talk about where am I? Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, and this is one of those areas, too, where, like, it, it can be so sensitive with friends because it's, like, if you if they're super into the person, it can, like, kind of put a wedge between you and uh, and your friend No. Stupid. in the process. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, if it's, like, you don't like the person I'm dating. Um, yo, there we go. I, I think, Ben, something that you've also commented on is like a good way for this is just to ask questions. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's something that like I'm all about. Like like giving you're never really truly allowed to like give your friends like unsolicited advice, but you can always ask them questions. Uh to the tune of like, hey, so like, so you know, how do you feel about this? Yeah, right? 
uh, and slowly like kind of carve the conversation towards like the middle ground. Hey, hey, hey I actually Mega like Man. To, I like this. to play with Mega Man. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say you, you got like one of your like semi mains there. Yeah. Simon's uh, smash attacks are not great. <clears throat> oh god. Seven. Oh, you, you just like what were you, were you launching the big guns? Just well, so was? yeah, so the big gun on this one, uh, Mega Man has got uh, like almost like a Samus style like blaster. Char yeah. Uh, as one of his smash attacks. And, oh, um, interesting. So you can actually stay kind of far away. So it's like, like projectile really, smash. It's a projectile, oh, yeah. Okay, that is that so kind of interesting. It's kind of like Ike, where if somebody else is fighting someone, it's just sort of like, yeah, I'm just gonna stand back here and just, I had 82 smash attacks. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There you go, that's how you do it, I guess. For this I had 41, so. 55. Wow, see, even when I do 41, I'm like, man, I don't Si Simon's smash attack is just awful. It's so narrow. Like, oh. you can't, like his up smash, it's oh, so hard whoa. to hit somebody. Whoa, what is this? What is oh. happening? Oh, it's just a, we hit a milestone. Okay. Woo! Okay. As Simon used, oh, you had a final smash. Okay. I did, I missed. Oh. <laughs> but I used it. Yay! We're so, we're so proud of you, Derek. <laughs> Thanks. Well, there you guys, we, had, we went 2-0 and o today. Yeah! yeah. Oh, the odds. Who would have oh, thought? Man. Who would have thought? So, can we can we put our advice into summation at all? Like, can we can we dilute it down to like a singular thought? Like, so uh, to go, bringing it all the way back to basics, he isn't sure if the girl is like good right enough. for him. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the specific thing is good enough, is and I, right. I like I need to qualify that a little bit more. Like, are you saying that uh, their career trajectory means that they not, might not make enough money, or they? have a teardrop tattoo. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. right. Like, what does that mean? So, yeah. and, and I will go back to my, my situation in high school where the, the girl that I was dating sort of had this known reputation for like starting to date somebody, but then while dating that person, like really start to establish a bunch of other backup plans. A lot of safety nets. A lot of safety nets. Mm -hmm. And so very frequently those safety nets would just be the next person who like falls into like, her main focus and then sucks to be that person because they're about to be slighted by the next person. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so there was this like pattern of behavior. And of course, like you come into it and this is like, as high school me, it's like, I'm I'm different though. Like I can change the situation. <laughs> yeah. and I'm it's special. Like, it's like, maybe not. Like sometimes the pattern of behavior is a pattern of behavior mm -hmm. for a reason. So if your concern is maybe somehow related to that, like I really like this person, but it seems like they probably will cheat on me. Yeah. Um, but then, uh, I don't know if it, on the other hand, I, I, it really depends, yeah, what you mean by, like, good enough. I don't like to think of, like, people as better than other people. Sure. You know, that's yeah. like a, I don't like that particular It's a, it's a mismatch, of thing. I yeah. think, is what it comes like, down to. It almost to. seems like, if you're thinking that way, maybe you're not good enough for them. Ooh. I don't know. It, it might also be him quoting what his parents said. Right, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's possible, That's too. possible as well. But, I mean, I think that if you are having doubts of if somebody's good enough for you, they're probably, probably not. not. Yeah, yeah they're probably maybe not. that's already. Yeah, maybe they're already just not your type. But really, I mean, if you like them, there's nothing wrong with going for it. You can always break up. There's nothing. Nothing is permanent, right? Right. In in high school relationships, especially. But uh, hopefully that helps. We would love to hear an update from you if you're dating this uh, girl or not. Uh, and if you have any other questions or advice you need for us, if you'd like to become a sponsor with a future episode, get over to our uh, Patreon page, patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. But until next time, Charlie Cannons, Charlie Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. <laughs>